Has Shawnee, how are things going on the uh, the campaign trail? I tell you, there's a lot of hot button issues. People are very angry. Uh, we have a problem with perverts in our local library where they come in and like a lot of them wouldn't have the technology to even figure out how to use a printer. So, you know, they type in diddies or something and then they'd take out a pen and a notepad and they'd try and sketch it. As Sometimes they'd trace the screen um, and you know, suits them down to the ground. They're old men and not going to bother them. But at the same time, it's clogging up the keys. Hello and welcome to Talking It Out, the unscripted comedy talk show where a panel of dysfunctional media personalities dissect the week's news. My name is Dave Coffey. I'm joined in studio by shock newspaper journalist Brian Kilbird. No. Former pop singer turned activist Trina McFarger. Hello, everyone. Social media influencer Sarah O'Crilly. Peace. And independent TD Shoni Sultcliffe. Gia Ditch, Irish. A top consultant, Dr. Chris Luke, has said Ireland's post-war generation were much more Instagram friendly than the current generation because of their healthy seasonal diet of fresh produce. And um, Trina, I'll come to you first. Do you think Irish people are uglier today than back in the 50s? I think Irish young people are uglier today than back in the 50s. But I tell people that my daughter, Sheila, has polycystic ovarian syndrome, hypothyroidism, and depression as an excuse for why she's fat. Because it's easier than explaining that she's lazy and eats junk food. You know, we have a chart in our house, ranking all the members in order of attractiveness. And it's supposed to be an incentive for Sheila to get less ugly and thin. It sounds like you're actively trying to make a serial killer. I think she's just trying to give her an eating disorder. And that's I not, that's, that's okay. Trying she's do. just trying that's to push her trying into to an do. eating disorder. Yeah, and it's for her own good. Uh, Shona, you are of a slightly older vintage as well. Do you think people were more attractive back in the oh, 50s? Oh, definitely do. Uh, we'd eat cabbage in the morning and then you might have a carrot later on. I remember when bananas arrived in Ireland and this was a big thing and there was the church was against it. A lot of people said it's a, it's a very suggestive shape of a food. Uh, it'll drive the children mad and it did drive some children mad. What, um, what happened to those kids that were driven crazy by bananas? Oh, well, luckily... The church had great facilities for mad children. And there were these workhouses and there was no windows in them. So uh, the children wouldn't be distracted by the outside world. And, you know, eventually they were all shut down in the 80s and they just let them loose. And that's why we had so many murders. Brian, Trini, you've, you've seen photos of, of people in Ireland in the 50s where they look pretty rough. This is, this is a load of nonsense, isn't it? It is, Dave. I mean, look, I eat like a man from the 50s. And I know that I'm no Adonis. You know, I'm eating red meat. My breath is rancid. I'm going blind. Like, I can barely make out who's who around here. I'm, I'm, why don't you change your diet? Oh, yeah, because who? The PC brigade are telling me to? Greta, the Gestapo. Uh, Greta, 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 Greta Thunberg there been like, oh, change your diet or we all go and die. Wait, wait you, no, you are going to die. You're, you're literally listing off the ways in which you're killing yourself by only eating red meat. No, D Dave, I, look, my grandfather ate a packet of cigarettes a day. He ate them? Ate them. Didn't even do that. He, said, uh, he goes, I don't have time to smoke them. So he just, he just popped them in his mouth like Tic Tacs. And he lived to be 108 years old. Wow. Is that true? Okay, he was 68. But the point he could have. The point is he could have. Oh, how did he die? Well, he, he, how did he die? Yeah. He choked on a fag, Dave. In celebrity news, it was reported this week that bewitched singer Kiwi Lynch met her husband on Raya, an exclusive invitation-only dating app used by Hollywood celebs. Brian, you're single. Have you given online dating a go? Uh, yes, I have. I've got. I've got. Been on all the accounts. Plenty of fish, Tinder. I don't like Bumble because the ball's in the woman's court there. And frankly, that's always when I'm on the back foot. So I've started doing a thing where I put up a photo of someone who looks enough like me that, you know, they won't take me to the small claims court over it, but also will trick them into meeting me. And also I give a fake name. Who do you use? What's the, what's the picture? Young Bertie Ahern. Oh. Okay, really yeah, I can see it. Yeah. I, have seen, okay. I have seen that picture. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, no. uh, that man was a damn smoke show if mm -hmm. I say myself mm -hmm. uh, with a lovely chin lovely chin a little beaky nose on him we've chatted I chatted to the young birdie and that was you 
Oh my god, that's that's like it's a good thing that we didn't go in the day because that would be awkward. Well, what what is <laughs> that? Would be awkward. What, what is that? What was his flirting technique like? Just constant dick. I've seen your dick. It's constant, constant okay, Kate, dick it's not, my, it's not my dick. It's not my dick. It's, this is I, I, it's not, it's you, not mine. It's you not don't mine. have a photo of... Uh, I Not not Birdie or Hearn's yeah. dick. No, Dave, no. It's that not is, Birdie's oh my dick. God. It's just some penises we were gonna I've go found to the on the internet. We were going to go to yacht and scaries and go that. for a drink. Yeah, was, this is hilarious. I wouldn't go on a boat alone with you now, to be fair. On, on, especially on a first date. What, what does that mean? I don't know. You're a bit of a... Godfather 2 vibe about you. you well, I'm going to shoot my brother. Yeah. I don't go on dates with my brother. You know, Sheila, like my daughter, is, is on all the sites. She would be a lonely, desperate woman. She calls them and calls them and calls them and um, puts on a deep sort of um, voice. Like, you know, like that kind of a voice. Yeah. Sounds demonic. Like a demonic voice. And actually, I don't know if she's doing it on purpose or if that's just the way her voice goes when she's hot for someone. Yeah. And um, she'll just start saying really gross things. Like what? Like talking about, I'll cut you up. I don't think that's that bad. Like, it is bad. I, just, I don't it's think very it's that bad. bad. Like, what is wrong trust, with you can't trust women. Can't trust, can't trust the ones I have now in my life. Can't trust the ones back then. When I was a young fellow, when I was eight years old, went down to Wicklow. Went down to Wicklow. When, say, let's say we called she cousins. And my cousin Rose, she'd said, go into that, that hole there. And like, there's, a little, there's a little goblin lives in there and he'd give you sweets. And I went in the hole and it turned out to be a badger set. And she, I ended up getting stuck down there for ages. I stuck down there. And then the mother badger ended up having to suck on her ditties to get food because I was down there for so long because no one could find me. And, and Rose, she didn't tell where I am. I was down there for three days. Do you see what you're doing to him, Sarah? Shawnee, have you ever tried an app like Tinder or Bumble? There's a politician's dating app uh, called Polypoak. Now, most politicians using Polypoak are in it purely for the sex. No messing around. Wham, bam, thank you, uh, sir. When I got I picked up on this date, she informed me, listen, I'm not here for sex. I will eventually go that way, but I like to preheat the oven before you, you know, stick in the turkey. Fair enough. And make sure you baste it first as well. Uh, don't put a turkey in dry. I was trying to think of something, you know, romantic or sexy. So I took her to uh, a model village in uh, Carrigallon. And she had been drinking heavily just for the bit of Dutch courage. And she ended falling and landing on the spike of a church. Being a religious woman, she was more concerned with the church than her own neck. Uh, unfortunately, she bled out. Uh, by the time an ambulance arrived, the poor lassie was gone. Oh, my God. You know, in a cowboy film, if you get hit with an arrow, first yeah. thing you do is you break the arrow. Yeah. You know, and seal the wound. I says, I'm breaking the spike of this church now. Or I'm going to lose you, honey. She says, don't damage the church. I says, what are you talking about, woman? It's a model. Uh, and she says, even a model of God is still a model for God. But she was delirious, Dave. Is it, is it consecrated ground, a model church? Oh, I assume so. Yeah. I assume that I have to get a, you can't a take Lego chances. priest to bless it. The GAA has advised all clubs to stop using WhatsApp groups because of concerns over unsuitable materials being shared with club members. Sarah, this past week, there was an audio recording of you having a meltdown that went viral via WhatsApp groups. What happened there? Myself and uh, himself uh, are, are have reached the end of the road. Um, it happened on the 46A. I don't, it's not something I do often getting on the bus. Um, and I did start to just lose it. And I attacked another woman. I kicked her. I threw a little boy down the stairs. I have apologized to Dublin bus. Did I... you apologize to the little boy? No, an ambulance had to come for him before I could say I was sorry. Little boy, if you're out there, just want to say, I'm really sorry about your black eye. You've got a few days off school, honey, so enjoy Unless you them. gave him the coronavirus. That actually wasn't. That was an STI. You were correct. Mm. 